Are you tired of missing out on profitable opportunities in the financial markets? Do you keep getting stopped out of trades? If you answered yes, then you're not alone. But don't worry in this video, we're going to reveal the most effective entry confirmation methods and tools used by the smart money traders. You'll learn how to use these techniques to your advantage, gain a solid understanding of how to confirm your trades like a pro, and increase your chances of success in the market. So get ready to take your trading to the next level and join us on this journey of mastering entry confirmation strategies. Also, in this episode we will guide you through the patterns and methods used by the smart money concept to identify high probability trades and determine optimal entry and exit points. Our goal is to equip you with a complete understanding of how to effectively enter and exit trades in a way that maximizes profitability while minimizing risk exposure. So traders, if that's something you're interested in, Please give this video a thumbs up to show your support and subscribe to our channel if you are new. See you after intro. Welcome back traders. So let's get started. We already have explained the exact entry methods of smart money trading in the previous episode. So in this episode, we are going to cover another crucial topic of the SMC, the patterns and tools which you can use as confirmation for your entries. Confirmations can provide higher quality trading setups by adding more depth and meaning to them and helping filter out bad quality setups. What are the possible forms of entry confirmations that can be utilized within the smart money trading strategy? V-shaped recovery, RSI divergence, premium and discount zone. So, using each one of these in our trading can help increase the accuracy and effectiveness of our trading decisions, which enhances profitability and reduces risk exposure. So, let's dive deeper into this topic and explore how we can effectively use entry confirmations in executing trades. So, let's get started with the VSR. VSR stands for V-shaped recovery. The basic idea behind the V-shaped pattern is that when price approaches a demand zone, price may quickly fall and then rise back to its previous level and forms a V-shaped pattern. It's worth noting that the V-shaped pattern can also form when price rises quickly and then fall back down to its previous level in a supply zone, creating a V-shaped pattern that is upside down. The V-shaped pattern is believed to show that large financial institutions, often referred to as banks, are actively participating in the market, pushing prices in and out of supply or demand zones. The reason we want to see the V-shaped pattern is that it indicates that the banks are actively participating in the market, which can lead to significant buying or selling momentum. So traders, this means that we should look to enter or exit trades in the same direction as the banks during a subsequent test of the demand or supply zone. It's important to note that not every V-shaped price movement should be considered a V-shaped pattern and a sign of bank participation. We should only pay attention to V-shaped patterns that are formed near or within the supply and demand zones. Let's see some examples. Here we have the Euro dollar 15 minute time frame on our chart. As you can see, the price suddenly dropped and formed a bottom. After hitting a higher time frame demand zone, it quickly rose back up to its previous level and formed a V-shaped pattern, leaving a perfect new demand zone behind. This provides a great opportunity for us to go long from our new zone. The V-shaped pattern indicates that the price found support at the bottom and was pushed back up by strong buying pressure, potentially from large financial institutions. As an SMC trader, you may have seen this as a bullish sign and entered a long position to take advantage of the potential uptrend. So let's see another example. As you can see here, the price created a sharp movement to the upside and formed the left side of an upside down V pattern. After mitigating the higher time frame supply zone, the price quickly went back down to its previous level and created an upside down V shaped pattern. As you can see in the following, the price created a major change of character by breaking this structure to the downside and also formed a new supply zone. After mitigating this perfect supply zone, the price was rejected and fell sharply to the downside. Let's move on to discussing the second method for confirming a trade entry, which is known as RSI divergence. When people hear about RSI, they often associate it with the retail trading strategy of buying when the RSI is in the lower 30% and selling when it's in the upper 70%. However, this approach doesn't always work. Instead, I use RSI to identify divergences, which can be a signal of a potential trend reversal. 
RSI divergence typically occurs when price moves in the opposite direction of the RSI chart. In other words, RSI chart might display a change in momentum before a corresponding change in price. There are two types of RSI divergence, bearish and bullish divergence. So, let's start with the bearish divergence. The RSI bearish divergence occurs when the price is making higher highs, but the RSI indicator is making lower highs. This suggests that the momentum of the uptrend is weakening, and there's a possibility of a reversal in price direction, and a break below the overbought territory could be used as a potential selling opportunity, or could be used to trigger a new short position. Now look at the A and B points. If we draw a line between them, it is obvious that price is making higher highs. Now look at the corresponding A and B points on the RSI chart. Here, again if we draw a line through A and B, we would see the RSI is making lower highs. This indicates a bearish divergence signal, suggesting that the momentum of the upward trend is weakening and there's a potential for a reversal in price direction. On the other hand, the RSI bullish divergence occurs when the price is making lower lows, but the RSI indicator is making higher lows. This suggests that the momentum of the downward trend is weakening and there is a possibility of a reversal in price direction. Traders can use this signal as a potential buying opportunity. For example, if we have points like A and B on the price chart, and if we draw a line between them, it is obvious that price is forming lower lows. However, when we look at the corresponding A and B points on the RSI chart and draw a line through them, we can see that the RSI is making higher lows. So this indicates a bullish divergence signal. Now let's take a look at a real price chart example to see how RSI divergence can be used in the smart money trading concept. Here, we are looking at the 15-minute time frame of the euro-dollar currency pair. The market is currently in a bullish trend, as indicated by the bullish BOSs. After mitigating the higher time frame supply zone, the price reversed to the downside and reached the recent demand zone. The price created a small upward movement with white candles, but then it quickly fell and broke out of the demand zone with inefficiency. This price action created a perfect flip pattern. So, if you are not familiar with the flip pattern and its details, you can check out our previous episode on the smart money concept entry methods to learn more about it. We have covered the flip pattern and other important trading concepts in depth, so watching those episodes would be helpful to better understand how to apply these strategies in your trading. We should now identify the flip zone created by the wave that flipped the recent demand zone. Now in the next step, we want to look for possible entry confirmations, and for that, we using the RSI. And we will be looking for bearish divergence signals on the RSI chart. To identify a bearish divergence, we need to compare A and B points on the price chart with the corresponding A and B points on the RSI chart. If we draw a line between A and B points on the price chart, we can see that price is making higher highs. We also draw a line between the corresponding A and B points on the RSI chart, and it's obvious that RSI is making lower highs and indicates a bearish divergence signal. So guys, we have finally received our entry confirmation and it's time to place the sell limit order. I'll be placing the order at the lowest point of the flip zone and setting the stop loss a couple of pips above the flip zone. As for our take profit target, we will be aiming for the most recent unmitigated demand zone. Now that our sell limit order is in place, Let's see how the market reacts. As we can see, our order has been activated and we have successfully entered the market. Now as you can see, our take profit has been hit and the trade has been closed with a profit. This is a perfect example of how RSI divergence can be used as a confirmation for entry in smart money trading and how it can be combined with other technical analysis tools to increase the probability of success in trading. But before diving into the details of the premium and discount zone, it's important to note a crucial step in your trading journey, backtesting your strategies. Before applying any strategy to your real account, it's recommended that you backtest it at least 100 times. This is because a strategy's win rate is dependent on various factors such as market conditions, trader psychology, trading sessions, risk management, and time frame. To help you with this critical step, we use the TraderEdge platform for backtesting our exclusive trading strategies. If you're interested in using TraderEdge as your backtesting tool, be sure to check out the link in the description below. What are the premium and discount zones? For high probability setups, we want price to be in the best areas as possible. To gain probability, in our trading we are using the Fibonacci tool to see if price is in premium or discount. 
we can increase the probability of profitable trades by buying in the discount zone and selling in the premium zone. Additionally, premium and discount zones can also be used to identify valid supply and demand zones for trading purposes. For example, in a bullish market, focusing on trading the demand zones located within the discount zone can enhance our trading strategy and minimize potential losses. How should the premium and discount areas be drawn on the chart? To identify premium and discount areas on the chart, the Fibonacci tool can be used by connecting the swing high and swing low of the price. The zone located below the 0.5 Fibonacci level is known as the discount zone, while the zone above the equilibrium line is known as the premium zone. It's important to note that these zones are only reliable if there is an impulsive movement that breaks the recent structure. To further improve our analysis using premium and discount zones, we can divide it into three equal parts and assign them different colors. To improve the chances of successful trades, we should aim to buy in the discount zone and sell in the premium zone. The red section on the chart indicates that the price is in a deep premium zone, which is a good opportunity to sell. On the other hand, the blue section represents a deep discount zone, where it is better to look for buy opportunities. It is not recommended to buy in the red or sell in the blue zone, as the price could easily reverse and take out traders' stops due to low liquidity during big moves. It is relatively safer to trade in the gray area, but the closer you get to the premium or discount zone, the riskier it becomes to do the opposite of the zone colors. To draw the premium and discount zones in a bearish scenario, the Fibonacci tool is pulled from the start of the impulsive movement to the end of it. The same concept applies in a bullish scenario. Now let's see a real chart example. We have the 4-hour Euro-Dollar chart on our screen. As you can see, price after mitigating this perfect demand zone was rejected and rose up sharply to the upside. Then it reached the supply zone where it showed a small rejection and flipped the zone to the upside, creating another perfect demand zone. Now, we should monitor price and wait for the price to reach the flip zone. Currently, as you can see, the price is within the flip zone, which aligns with the blue discount zone of the Fibonacci. Next, we will zoom in to a lower time frame to identify any market structure shift and also look for more entry confirmations. Here we have the 15-minute time frame chart. As you can see, price created these bearish structures, but it created a change of character by breaking out of this structure to the upside, flipping the supply zone to the upside, and leaving behind a great inefficiency. This scenario is one of my favorite setups due to its high probability. If you look closely at the chart, you can easily detect these VSR patterns just before significant price movements to the upside. We've identified the entry confirmations we are looking for before placing a trade. However, to gather more confirmations, I will add the RSI indicator to the chart and look for possible bullish divergence signals. To identify a bullish divergence, we need to compare points A and B on both the price chart and the RSI chart. We can draw a line between these two points on the price chart and see that the price is making lower lows, while drawing a line between the corresponding A and B points on the RSI chart shows that RSI is making higher lows. This indicates a bullish divergence signal. In addition to the RSI divergence, we also have two VSR patterns, and price is in the blue discount zone. With these three different entry confirmations, we can take a long position. To do this, we should highlight the flip zone created by the wave that flipped the recent demand zone. This will be our point of interest, where we will place a buy order. Then we are going to set our stop loss a couple of pips below the lowest point of the zone and aim for this swing high as our take profit level. With these steps, we can take advantage of the entry confirmations and potentially make a profitable trade. Now that our buy order is in place, let's see how the market reacts. As we can see, our order has been activated and we have successfully entered the market. Now, as you can see, our take profit has been hit and the trade has been closed with a profit. After an in-depth discussion of the entry confirmation methods used in the smart money concept, it's time to apply this knowledge to real chart scenarios. By examining trading examples on the chart, we can gain a better understanding of how these methods work in practice. So let's delve deeper into the application of these concepts and analyze some real trading examples. On the euro dollar four hour time frame, we can see that the price is currently in a strong downtrend. After reaching this perfect demand zone, the price was rejected to the upside, 
indicating that it may reverse its direction and mitigate this supply zone here. So here in this scenario, we would look for taking a long position, and we will be aiming for the closest 4-hour supply zone. To spot premium and discount zones for having a high probability trade, I'm going to pull Fibonacci tools from the highest point of this bearish impulsive movement to its lowest point. As I mentioned, I would like to take long position in this scenario. So I want to set my buy order in the blue discount zone. As you know, guys, the blue section represents a deep discount zone, which typically offers more favorable buying opportunities. Next, I'm going to zoom in on the one hour time frame. As you can see, price has broken out of this structure to the upside and created a major change of character, followed by a sharp upward movement. To further analyze the price action, I will mark out the demand zones created by the sharp movement and monitor how price reacts when it reaches these levels. To do this, I will zoom into the 15 minute time frame and monitor price action around the demand zones. Now, as you can see, we can easily spot this VSR pattern here, which shows a strong rejection from the highest demand zone. That means this zone would provide a higher probability if we use it to take any long position. So, guys, we have another confirmation for the entry. Our next step is to look for a change of character and identify a perfect demand zone to place our buy order. As you can see, the price has created a change of character by breaking out of this structure and leaving a great inefficiency behind. Our task now is to locate the demand zone that has been created by the impulsive wave of the change in character. Now we have spotted VSR entry confirmation and also price is in the gray discount zone. It's time to set our buy order. I will set my buy order at the highest point of the demand zone and place my stop loss a few pips below the lowest point of the zone to manage risk. As for the take profit, I will aim for the four hour supply zone. This way, we have a clear plan of action with defined entry, exit, and risk management levels. Now that our pending buy order is in place, let's see how the market reacts. As we can see, our order has been activated and we have successfully entered the market. And our take profit has been hit and the trade has been closed with a profit. Now let's move on to the next real chart example. Let's take a closer look at the Euro Yen chart on the 15 minute time frame. After hitting a higher time frame supply zone, the price reversed and reached a recent demand zone. You can see that the price had a small pullback to the upside with two white candles before plunging to the downside and breaking out of the demand zone, leaving behind inefficiency. This created a perfect flip pattern that we can take advantage of. To do so, we need to identify the flip zone, which was created by the wave that flipped the recent demand zone. By spotting the flip zone, we now have a clearer picture of the next potential move for the price. Next, we should zoom into the one minute time frame and wait for price to reach the flip zone and show us a valid change of character. To increase our chances of a winning trade, we need to look for additional entry confirmations before placing a trade. To do this, we can look for other entry confirmations. Upon closer examination of the chart, we can see a V-shaped recovery pattern that was created when price reached the 15 minute time frame's flip zone. Another confirmation we can look for is a possible bearish divergence signal using the RSI indicator on the one minute chart. To identify a bearish divergence, we need to compare points A and B on both the price chart and the RSI chart. We can draw a line between these two points on the price chart and see that the price is making higher highs. While drawing a line between the corresponding A and B points on the RSI chart shows that RSI is making lower highs. This indicates a bearish divergence signal. Now that we have spotted the VSR pattern and RSI bearish divergence on the one minute time frame, and we have identified the flip zone, it's time to wait for a change of character to happen. Price has already reached the flip zone, broken out of this structure to the downside, and left behind significant inefficiency, confirming our analysis. Our next step is to highlight the supply zone created by Chaka's wave. This is the point of interest where we should look for potential short entries. It's time to take action and place our sell limit order. We'll place it at the perfect spot and set our stop loss a few pips above the highest point of the zone. Our target is the recent unmitigated demand. This is where we believe price will head. Our sell limit order has been activated and we are officially in the market. Now it's time to sit back and watch how things unfold. As predicted, the price went down after our sell limit was triggered and eventually hit our take profit target.
Remember that trading is not just about making profits, but also about managing risks and being disciplined. It takes time and practice to become a successful trader, so don't get discouraged by losses and always keep learning and improving your skills. Keep up the good work and I wish you all the best in your trading journey. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and useful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on our latest videos. We value your feedback and suggestions, so please leave your comments below and let us know what topics you'd like us to cover in our future videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next episode.